FBI warning. Federal law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or exhibition of copyrighted motion picture tapes and video.
You don't know all the other times they got uh, tickets here? <laughs> like it's a free pass for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. You just wrap it around the, just wrap it around the car. I mean, that's the first one I got here. They told me that. We were drinking 40s. Like, I thought we were like somebody was selling dope. <laughs> but we weren't. We we're just on the same corner. They weren't selling dope there anymore. <laughs> no, I they quit. Dominican beer. So they got so upset. But then again, then I look a little. Are you guys still going there? Damn, I'm starting to get really high. Again. I know. I go away, <laughs> fuck the fuck up, like always. Pass me the light. Know. We're going to show motherfuckers. This is what we do, man. WJMZ, motherfucking radio. We does this shit all day, every day, in front of everything. How they say it's just we. Only real niggas do real Watch this lefty right here. Oh, you got it? Bow! Look at his face. She cracked his ass. Shut up! Did he not like it? Did he like it? Did he, did he, did he, did he get the money? Did he get the money? Give him all the fucking money. What was he again? Give me that. Curtis, did he not like it? These guys are my favorite. Right there. They don't, nothing happened. <laughs> I want to hear what the other guy is saying. They can't hear what you Please don't have that one. Curry, I don't know why you call us out. 
Triple Tower, baby. <laughs> That's like the worst situation oh ever. God. Like they're already on their phones. That sucks. Oh my god. See, they're like, I'm out, dude. I'm Do we need out. to get out of the car? Wait, we should leave. No, we're fine. We should leave. I don't want to talk no, to police. I don't, I don't want, I don't want a police report either. I just, I gotta get. You gotta control it. Don't put your feet up. Don't put your feet up. Control it. He's gonna fall. He's gonna fall. In the dock a little bit more, you should be able to get up there to lower. Bye. Hey, Millhouse. Yo. Are your hands full?
Can I kick it? <laughs> Can I kick it? <laughs> That was a sneak attack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a, an actual like three. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's run. <laughs> She's gonna kick her own car. <laughs> Just wind up. Just wind up. <laughs> You do it 360, then you kick. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> I like the... <laughs> 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 Warp door. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, at the end of it, you just get your one and a four, or else you get another dollar, in the highest you can, and the uh, man takes the pot. We go, we go there one dollar. Pick one. Turn it over. Right, we do it for free. One for free. Oh, that's a hundred. My brother choke slammed him as a kid. <laughs> and then his voice box got all fucked.
Our heads in the moment of silence. I dislike violence, especially in the family of violence. Damn, they're doing stupid shit to a brother, <coughs> like taking his life when you should have took another nigga. Like it's, all. it's only one thing to do. What's that, Playboy? Just be it true. It wasn't true. I ain't gotta say no motherfucking words. This right here is a motherfucker happier than pig and shit, motherfucker shaped you to rip teeth. Look at that motherfucker. Watch him as he watch. Watch how some niggas move. The nigga don't even smoke when he smoke. Tell tell sign a motherfucker shape you in reptilian. The nigga got three teeth, shades on at the nighttime, red bandana, long ass hair, and smoke ninety nine cent cigarette. The nigga is a motherfucker shape shifting. Motherfucking What you is, Steve? Reptilian. told me it was time to go. Why am I here? Your jaw is broken. I scoffed and said, of course it is. I filled my prescription for Percocet. The only thing I can remember from the night before was a large strip club bouncer telling me that I broke the side mirror off of his car. I believe this was the night I got kicked out of the bamboo hut. I got drunk on 151 and started breaking bottles. I pulled my switchblade a few times. It might have also been the night that I beat the bar with a padlock tied to a bandana. I didn't have a job. I was living at a hotel on Broadway. 
I would sleep till dusk, go to Vietnam for a number four sandwich, then I'd sit at my favorite bar, sell 20 bags and drink and do bumps till I blacked out. Then I'd do it all over again. I started to get sick, my throat swelled up, and I would sweat a lot, get really cold, because I was covered in sweat. I took a couple nights off of the powders to see if I would bounce back, but I was just getting worse. After a few days, I went down to the bar to try and kill it with whiskey. The door guy noticed my discomfort and examined my throat with his flashlight. He said I needed to go to the hospital. And then Geary came in and gave me painkillers and some coke to numb my throat. So I figured I would get fucked up all night and go to the hospital when the bars closed since there was nothing else to do. As soon as the nurse put the heart meter on my finger, she told me I needed to go to the back. The doctor came in and said, hey, your heart rate is a little high. Did you do any illegal drugs tonight? I said, oh, you're a doctor, so I can tell you stuff that you can't tell anyone else. Yeah, that's right. All right, close the door. The doc closes the door. Did you take any illegal drugs tonight? No. I didn't. We had weed cookies and whiskey for breakfast and decided to have Long Island iced teas for lunch. On our way back to her apartment, I spotted a large bag of powders on the sidewalk. And I said, hey, look, someone dropped their drugs. She laughed and said, that's laundry detergent or something. And I said, no one puts powders for laundry in a bag with stars and sparkles on it. She quickly scooped it up and put it in her purse. And when we got back to her apartment, she broke the shit up on a large mirror. And I was the first one to take a sniff. It was like a fucking transformer blew in my brain. That's what these sidewalk drugs felt like. Boom. We finished the bag. We laughed like fucking idiots for hours. And I remember being really sweaty and horny for like a week after that. Winter. Well after midnight. I get on the subway with Eddie somewhere in Manhattan. When the door opens, I can smell weed so strong that I thought someone was smoking in the car. There's a nerdy ass white boy to the left and two Spanish dudes on the right. Eddie and I look left, look right, and then look at each other. Eddie says, damn, smells like weed. I said, yeah, who got it? Instantly the nerd speaks up. It was those two. Eddie looks at me, and then looks over at the nerd and says, You snitch-ass motherfucker, we could have been the police. Me, Eddie, and the Spanish dudes burst into laughter. We sat next to them to the, we'd sat next to them the rest of the ride and heckled the white boy. They asked us if we wanted to smoke, so we got off at Myrtle Broadway and we smoked with them on the platform. Me and Eddie were in the Tenderloin, doing nose beers and drinking whiskey at some Irish bar. We went into the bathroom to do a bump, but there was a dude in there. Looked like he could be a square. Eddie and I hovered over the urinals waiting for him to leave, because we didn't come in here to pee. The other dude walked over to the sink, washed his hands, and sniffed a big fat key bump. Eddie and I busted up laughing, and the three of us passed the two bags around and had a laugh. The other dude left. Eddie and I stayed in the bathroom to do a few more. Suddenly the door swings open and a large man walked in with a huge smile and said, Fellas. We laughed again. The other dude told this dude what happened. They made the handoff and he came in to join us. On our way out of the bathroom I saw a huge boulder of cocaine fall out of the large man's nose. It fell to the floor of the bathroom. The bathroom floor of a bar. The bathroom floor 
of a bar in the tenderloin. Eddie saw the boulder too. Without thinking, Eddie wiped his fingers across it and rubbed it all over his gum. He looked me right in the eye and said, don't ever tell anyone about this. I seen the guy the first time at the Players Club in North Beach. Eddie and Geary both told me don't talk to him and don't sell him shit. No chance I thought this dude was a narc. He looked like he was straight out of San Quentin. I was crashing with this babe in the tenderloin. We hear the cops outside the window jacking up a homeless dude. I couldn't sleep so I sat up on the fire escape and watched them hassle the dude. One cop broke off, walked up the block, and the guy was walking his way. They started talking, and the guy pointed past the homeless dude. The cops cut the bum loose and sped off in the direction of the guy's fingers. I was in New York for one hour before I came in contact with the NYPD. I was breaking up the weed for a third joint when we got pulled over in Brooklyn. I started to eat the handful of weed as soon as I saw the lights. I was still spitting my weed out of my teeth when the officer arrived at my window. He wrote me a ticket for not wearing my seatbelt and then left. I knew this woman in San Francisco on Broadway Street. She lived across the hall from me in a hotel above a bar. She worked at another bar up the block. She would give me free beer all day and I would share my powders with her. I had a huge crush on her. I would leave notes on her door all the time. She never responded to them. We would hang out every Sunday for months. Then I didn't see her for years. The first person I saw at the bar below my house in Brooklyn on Broadway Street was the same girl. We were stupid in love for the next 72 hours. The Broadway babe told me over pillows that she wondered if she died a long time ago and offered considered being in purgatory. Does that sound crazy? Well, Kinda. She made a noise and buried her face in the pillow. And got high. She cleaned the bag. She butterfly the motherfucker. She cleaned the bag. We are killing drugs today. We are putting them out of their misery. We are on the block. At the corner and in the street. We sit up and listen and see what we can find. Free, naked, and fucking. I have no choice but to dismiss you. She cleaned the bag. She cleaned the bag. We drove a shitty car and got high. She cleaned the bag. We drove a shitty car and got high. She cleaned the bag. She cleaned the bag. She cleaned the bag. I knew she cared for me deeply. I did know that. Baby cakes. Your eyes. This. Them. Dark jackets. White shirts. Gold chains. Sex in the bathroom every day. Big hair. Short skirts. Turn to belts. Gambling and liquor. She cleaned the bag. She cleaned the bag. We had not been together for a year. Nothing was more important to me than that day. I went home the next day. I did not get close enough to you. I was unable. She was a smart thinker. However, still, she would just sit and talk with me a hundred times. I could never see the next step down the road. It is the last day of school. She cleaned the bag. She cleaned the bag. Gently into the skid. Let me get my stuff. We got a long list of cool. 
There is a great deal of fear in this case. Fear of the truth. I got the touch and the nerve. It does not mean the love ends. I go to bars all day. There's a lack of turmoil in my life. I need a lighthouse to keep me off the rocks. I'm not afraid of the dark. I am not afraid of the dark. I am bothered by monsters. Not bad words and phrases. I am still bothered by monsters. Not bad words and phrases. He drove a shitty car and got high. He talks to himself. She cleaned the bag. She butterflied the motherfucker. Hey, Nicole. Nicole. You know what to do. Our story takes place in the borough of Brooklyn in the year 2086, 65 years after the great trash wave. The primary inhabitants of Earth are roaches, rats, seagulls, and one fast food mutated cheeseburger. Gregory and Burgery and friends. Hi kids, my name's Gregory Hamburgery, and I have the greatest friends in the world. Meet Ricky Roach. Hi, how are you? My name's Ricardo Roach. I'm from Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. And these are the Huntington Seagulls. Wait, oui, man. Like, if you're here, man, then, like, where am I, man? Together we enjoy great activities like gambling and liquor. Every other day I give you five dollars for weed. But lately it seems as though I'm getting less weed for the same amount of money. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, my bad. It's just that uh, I've been giving you diet nickel bags because you said you were doing a low calorie thing. Gee whiz, I didn't know they made low-calorie weed. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, Coke and Diet Coke, you know, uh, less for, like, the same price. But, uh, you know, if you want, just, I'll give you the regular. Hey, Roach, what are you eating? This, Gregory, is a carrot. Carrots are high in vitamin A, and they are very good for your eyes. Well, gee, Roach, it doesn't feel very good. This is a public service announcement from Ricardo Roach. Don't smoke crack. Straight. Put it on a blunt. Oh, yeah, and uh, cigarettes are for the birds. She's named in them. It's number one long pants brand in Serbia. And always remember, a new pants is sure to attract the catch of the day. Hey, man. Like, what's that smell, man? I got two words for you, man. 
Weed, man. Hey, man. What if, like, other animals shed their skin? Like, snakes, you know? Like, what if I looked down there and I was like, wow, man. Like, dead dolphins in the water. But then, like, I fly a little closer. And it's just a dolphin skin, man. Hey, Roach, man. What's that, man? This is a human brain. I broke in, into an old cryogenics laboratory, and they got a ton of them. Hey, funny enough, man, we got really high, and we ate Craig's brains, man. Yeah, so what are you telling me for? No, man, it's just that we should put the the brain that you have in Craig's bun, man. So that Craig has a brain, man. What will happen to our heroes, Gregory and Roach? Will Craig ever try another carrot? Will Roach continue to rip Craig off for his marijuana? Or will these fucking idiots get really stoned and go surfing? This is Graham Crackers reminding you not to smoke crack unless first putting it on a blunt.
Gregory the Mercury. And Brad. In our last episode, Roach had salvaged a brain from a nearby cryogenics laboratory. Meanwhile, the Seagulls had eaten the brain of our main character and hero, Gregory Hamburgery. With Greg's brains now resting in the belly of a nincompoot trash bird, Ricky Roach had no choice but to put his newly salvaged brain into the bun of that Gregory Hamburgery. Hey, I uh, put the new brain in. Let's uh, see what happens. I uh, think he's going to explode or something. What's up, dog? What's up? You smoke, dog? What, uh, like cigarettes? No, I'm saying no. But like, do you smoke, though? Hey, Roach, man, what's this guy talking about with smoke? Like, we want, I don't think anyone knows what that is. Man. Psh, man, you got smoke, dog. You smoke. Y'all got smoke. I don't know, man. It's like the year 2086, and it's already been the apocalypse. Like, I don't know if there's any smoke left, man. Hey, listen, man. No disrespect or anything, but, like, who are you, man? My name's Young Smoke, son. I was voted SoundCloud's dopest rapper in 2014. Hold up. Listen to my mixtape. Now, now I've been nice. But this is the last time I'm going to ask y'all. Do. You. Smoke. Oh, I think I get it, man. He wants some weed, man. Yes, dog. Exactly. Exactly, yes. Smoke. Marijuana. stole another brain. I'm tired of the SoundCloud rapper, whatever his name is. I stole this one from the genius room. Gregory Hamburgery and Brand.
Damn, that fucker burnt. Man, thanks for taking me to Red Robin. I love this place. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn, the antics of our SoundCloud rapper friend, Young Smoke. He's attempting to exchange his brain for that of a genius. But a special visitor from the underworld might interfere. Prince back in 85, all right? I was there on the set of Purple Rain. You were no prince. Listen here, you imbeciles. I am Beelzebub. Some call me Satan. Others, Lucifer. Oh, like the scene from the Bible, man? You smoke them? Do you smoke them? My dark lord, we are in the presence of evil royalty. Stop it, stop it, stop groveling, my loyal subject. You're going to make me blush. So, scene, man, what are you doing on earth, man? Listen here, you stupid bird. Don't you notice the apocalypse? The earth is mine. Shoot, would your apocalypse is looking check? Silence, you stupid cheeseburger. I was under the impression that someone was in possession of a genius brain. Yo, Roach Dog, what the fuck is this dude talking about? Oh, uh, the genius brain? Yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know nothing about that. Uh, we don't have no genius brain, do we, uh, young smoke? Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, we don't have any brains at all. I haven't seen brains in, uh, in quite a long time. Stop it. Stop lying to me. Don't you know I'm the king of all liars? I cannot be lied to. So come out with your antennas up and 
hand over the brains. This dude definitely don't smoke. <clears throat> hey, listen, Prince of Darkness, look. I don't have an evil genius brain here for you, but... I think we can work something out. Here, uh, I tell you what, Satan, I'll trade you a uh, SoundCloud rapper's brain and uh, the brain of a genius for a big bag of that weed that we smoked in Cabo. This plan pleases me, Mr. Roach. But, Roach, man, what are we going to do about Craig's brain, man? That's all right. I had Gary shit it back into his bun. But I'm telling you, though, this devil, he's got the best weed that there is. Wow, Roach, man. I'm so high off of this sea and weed that I haven't flapped my wings in 30 minutes, man. <laughs> I told you, kid. It's primo shit. Lou from Rochko, USA. Sub that laundry powder. Made with real soap. And voted 11 out of 10. Some damn international is now pleased to announce that this laundry product is no longer made by kidnapped children. Gregory and Mercury and friends. On the last Craigery and Friends, our hero and subject, Craigery Hamburgery, was giving bird shit for brains a try. Hey, you know, if you ask me, the kid always had bird shit for brains. 
Let's check back in with Craig to see how he's recovering from this melee. Great Marie and Mercury and friends. Great Marie and Mercury and friends. Great Marie and Mercury and friends. This and more when our program continues after a brief word from our sponsors. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky Roach here to endorse a wonderful product known as beer by Roach Co. USA in both light and full flavored. Beer. There's no reason not to. Important message from Roach Co. USA. Beer is not for anyone under 15 years old. During our commercial break, the boys hatched a plan to steal the genius brain back from Satan. However, they ended up with the brain of the SoundCloud rapper Young Smoke, who immediately took acid and ran off into the night. Ricky Roach here, strongly urging you to come down and visit the Roach Co. USA Mer Medical Marijuana Emporium, where we have great strains. like Sour OG Afghan Haze, only $47.62 for an eighth of an ounce. Or Blackberry Biscotti Kush, which tastes like a combination of Afghan Biscotti Brandy Goo, Purple Sticky Punch, mixed with Blackberry White. We have great deals, the greatest in the land. Quarters for 200 ounces for a thousand and this particular strain is 65.99 for an eighth of an ounce and finally we have the sour pink lemonade og our finest product it is a combination of sour passion fruit haze pink cranberry cough og lemon fire kush and wilford brimley og only 102.98 and eight. you guys you guys last night my friend sammy asked me if i want to take the math here. And I've never taken acid before. So, I said yes. So me and Sammy, we took some acid. And then, we went surfing. And then, I saw a spirit. I had a spirit vision quest. And the spirit told me that I am to start a band with a skate rat named Chalky. And Sammy... The Vampire Slice of Pizza. We are going to call it Tasty Sandies. It will be the most important rock and roll group known to mankind. Uh, Bert, who's that friend of yours over there? Oh, this guy, man, this is Chalky, man. He's a skate rat, man. Hey, I'm Chalky. I'm a skate rat. Skate rat? I never heard of no skate rat. What the hell is a skate rat? It means he rides a skateboard, man. We used to be in a Great Marie and Mercury and friends. Great Marie and Mercury and friends. Great Marie and Mercury and friends.
Gregory and Mercury. Oh, so you morons are gonna do a band now? Do you even know how to play instruments? Who's gonna be in this freaking band of yours? What a fucking train wreck. I can't wait to see how this goes. Well, we got me on guitars. We got the skate rat, Chucky, on drums. And we got Sammy on the microphone. Oh, look at this bunch. You should call it the Dirty Dozen. What is the, uh, what is the name of this, uh, here little project? It's called Tasty Sandwich, dog. We're named after sandwiches. Yeah, dude. Now we pick band names, and then we start writing hits. I'm gonna be chopped cheese. I wanna be chalky. Or... Chalkwood. Yeah, no, Chalkwood. Uh, I don't want to be Sammy. How about, uh, I always wanted to be Wesley. <laughs> Alright, now that we got our band names picked, we have to start writing a song. The Lawson guy? He just thinks I'm the worst person ever because of all the dumb pies in my pockets. Or he thinks I'm the coolest person ever.